good afternoon. And welcome to St. Jude the Apostle Parish as we celebrate the 15th Sunday of Ordinary Time. In the first reading and the Gospel, Amos and the Apostles are sent to convey God's perfect message, which tends to make sinners feel uneasy. Like Amos, confronting sin may not have been on our original to-do list, but how else can we open our hearts to receive the grace to boldly go forth to share the good news to all who might listen. Please join in singing our gathering song found in your worship aid, Gather Us In. Good afternoon. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves for this most holy Eucharist, let us acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you are the everlasting word of truth. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you forgive our transgressions. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring healing and comfort to our weary world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Thank you. 
us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that it does honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Amaziah, priest of Bethel, said to Amos, Off with you, visionary, flee to the land of Judah. There earn your bread by prophesying, but never again prophesy in Bethel, for it is the king's sanctuary and a royal temple. Amos answered Amaziah, I was no prophet, nor have I belonged to a company of prophets. I was a shepherd and a dresser of sycamores. The Lord took me from following the flock and said to me, Go, prophesy to my people Israel. The word of the Lord. <coughs> reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Blessed be 
the God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to him through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace, that he be granted us in the beloved. In him, we have redemption by his blood, the forgiveness of transgressions, in accord with the riches of his grace that he lavished upon us. In all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will, in accord with his favor, that he set forth in him as a plan for the fullness of times to sum up all things in Christ, in heaven and on earth. In him we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory. We who first hoped in Christ. In him you also, who have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and have believed in him, were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, which is the first installment of our inheritance toward the redemption as God's possession, to the praise of his glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to them, Wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went off, and preached repentance. The twelve drove out many demons, and they anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, there are certain things in life that are so obvious that it goes without saying. It can be so essential and fundamental 
that it is like a foregone conclusion. So, when it goes without saying, it means that it is unwritten, unspoken, but understood. For example, we know what are the things that we want to bring along when we step out of the house. Certainly, we must bring along some kind of identification card in case of an emergency, some money or some kind of a credit card, and of course, these days, our mobile phone. Yes, to bring along these things when we step out of the house goes without saying. It only simply means they are necessary for our journey. In the Gospel today, when Jesus summoned his disciples and sent them out to preach the good news, he gave them a few instructions. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey except a staff. No bread, no haversack, no copper coins for purse, or not even a spare tunic. And when Jesus mentions that, it is rather strange, but that seems really obvious and even goes without saying. And that is, the disciples were to take along a staff and with whatever they were wearing, that they were to have their sandals on their feet. That is as basic as it can be, and it even goes without saying. But my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus asked them to carry only two things with them, the staff and the sandals on their feet. But if you go back to the Old Testament, during the time of the Passover, when people were freed from slavery in Egypt and then head out into the Promised Land, on the night of the Passover, God told them the same thing. He told them to take the staff and then wear their sandals and have their belts on only to signify not the other things were not necessary for or important for them. That signifies get ready for the journey. The time is urgent. It is now. Be ready. That's what it means. It's not so much about the staff. It's not so much about the sandals. It's not so much about the purse. But the sense here is this, the sense of urgency. And then when Jesus tells the apostles, have your staff in your hand and then sandals on your feet. It means you got to go now. The message is so important. It is so earth shaking. You got to bring this message of good news to those who have not heard it before. There's no time to waste. And that's what he meant when he said to them just to have these two things with them. My dear brothers and sisters, how do we apply this message for us today after 2,000 years? I don't think any of us would go out into the streets and speak about conversion. 
but then let us simplify the command of Jesus and apply it to our own day-to-day -day living now. We have a beautiful answer in the second reading in the letter of St. Paul where he says how blessed we are if only you read the second reading once again later, you can bring those worship aids with you and then just underline how many times and how much we are blessed by the Lord. One of the statements says, God loved us even before the foundation of the world. We are blessed and empowered. And then at baptism, we are adopted as his children, as sons and daughters. And because he loves us so much that he sent his son to bring us forgiveness, and that's how bring us redemption. And the list of how much each of us is blessed is what we read in the second reading. Why do I draw your attention to the second reading is this. What we are called to do by Jesus is this. What we have received, what we have experienced, if only we can go out and share within the family and outside the family, we are doing no, nothing less than what the apostles did then. Let's break it down and make it more, make it very simple. If we experienced forgiveness today from the Lord, which we do at the beginning of every Mass, the penitential rite, our call is when we go back, if there is a member in the family to forgive, we need to forgive. If we have experienced the love of Jesus in this Mass, if we have experienced the love of Jesus from others, when we go out and live and share that love with others, we are doing no less than what the first apostles did. If only we can share the story of God's experience in our lives, how God came across to us in our difficulties, when we take time to share that experience with the other person, that becomes sharing the good news of Jesus with others. We don't need to know big theology. We don't need to break our heads to explain all the mysteries of the kingdom of God. But we have the good news of the kingdom of God to share with one another. I don't know if ever you thought about this, at the end of each Mass, we are commissioned just to go and live the Gospel. That's why the priest either says, go forth, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Or we say, let us go in the peace of Christ. The command is repeated, my dear brothers and sisters. The apostles listen to that command only one time. We get to listen to that command every time that we celebrate the Mass, which means that time is now. Jesus is calling us now to share that good news. If only we take a little time, maybe after we receive Jesus in the Holy Eucharist, what is that one powerful thing that I would love to share about Jesus with the other person? Just think about it. Treasure that one. Look for an opportunity. Share it with others. And thank the Lord. Lord, this is how I am fulfilling your command for me to be your servant and disciple. Amen. Let us profess our faith. 
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and he is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting that God will provide all that we need to do his will, let us bring our concerns to him. For the church, may the Lord guide and strengthen our leaders as they share the good news through their words and service. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For first responders, may they have the protection of St. Michael as they serve, protect, and heal. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. From those who suffer from incurable or terminal illness, that they may be comforted by their faith and by those they love. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the youth in this faith community, may they grow ever deeper in their faith and the desire for the Lord. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died this past week and for those who are mourning the loss of someone dear to them, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs within our prayer boxes, the needs expressed through the prayer chain, and for those held within the silence of our hearts. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of this Mass, including those for the repose of the souls of David Detloff, Wayne R. Lager, Judy Stuber, and Lorraine Iden. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, receive our petitions and grant all that is pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Our offertory song can be found in your worship aid, We Are Many Parts.
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayers to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. indeed, Holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, let the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Yeah. 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, David our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be courts for eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray together the family prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Our communion song can be found in your Blue Gather books, number 683, Be Not Afraid.
The announcements for this week. We are in great need of volunteers for EAA food booth. So far we are only at 48% of the volunteers needed for the week. And as you know, this is our parish effort and we can do it only with your help. I request you to please contact Beth Jeffers to sign up for the weekend. Also, we are in need of cereals, fruit juice, milk, granola bars, homemade muffins for all the guests that will be staying with us during EAA. You can bring your donations to the parish office at any time. The Catholic Church celebrates July 25th as Roll Day of Grandparents and the, and the Elderly. On that weekend, we will pray in a special way for our grandparents and the elderly at all the masses, and also we have a special blessing for them. I encourage all the grandchildren to participate in one of the weekend masses along with their grandparents and celebrate this day with them. Thank you for your generous response to date for the capital campaign. Next weekend is the leadership weekend. If you are still waiting to mail in your completed pledge cards, no worries. You can place it in the regular collection next weekend. If you have any questions about the capital campaign, John Dinnegan, Lord's Academy president, He's here with us, and he'll be available at the back of the church to gladly answer your questions. Let us now pray together the campaign prayer found in your order of worship. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for your great love and for forming us into your holy people. You are the one calling us one by one into a deeper relationship with you. You continue to call us one by one to share your love with others. Strengthen our parishes and Catholic school, Lourdes Academy, as a primary way in which you form the Catholic community of the Oshkosh area. 
Keep us focused on you as you make us more faithful, more loving, and more generous. Set the Ashkash area on fire with your love, eager to share the joy of the gospel and lead all people to the kingdom of God. Amen. Our Lady of Lords, live Jesus in our hearts. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Our sending forth song is in your worship aid. Lead me, Lord. Thank you. 